Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, if you're tuning in for the first time. This one did come from I Like Hair, and I just posted a bunch of like selfies and little Instagram clips on my Instagram channel. If you're not following me there, I'm Ashley Be Day There. So I went ahead and bonded her down. You guys know they came with the beautiful kinky edges, and I was able to execute it beautifully. Um, the trick to it nowadays, according to the TikTok curlies, is a spritz. I've got to go back on there and see exactly how they applied it. But with this one, because it had the natural edges, I really don't want to get too much product on the hairline because it'll kind of like interfere with the texture and the overall result of the edges. But I'm loving the look and the results. And of course, I did the beginner friendly install. And they did include the beautiful natural edges super duper in love so of course we're doing no baby hair we're going to accentuate the natural style along the hairline as well as do our curls at the end so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look keep on watching music is life music is therapy plugging in my airpods just makes a huge difference in my day when i have things to do but this is the wig here we are working with the kinky edge HD lace front wig. There's a ventilated wig cap and the texture is body wave. So get this kinky straight texture with body wave curls. You guys know we're going to amp it up. Here's a look at the back of the wig. The body wave is definitely body waving on this one. It's giving like natural hair pressed out with the curl, but then it's a little warm outside so your roots kind of sweat out. I'm loving it and we're definitely going to play up on these kinky edges as well. This is what the wig looks like as a center part. And here is a close up on the hairline. You guys kind of see how it looks when it's kind of curled up. And then you kind of see when you comb it out. This is definitely, definitely a game changer in making a hairline just look a lot more natural and realistic. Also, they did pre pluck, so it's going to be a very, very easy install. So here we're rocking the dynamic duo. You guys already know I love my wax stick paired with the bling hot comb from bdeckbd.com. I love this one because it's super stylish. And I like to just use these two products to help the hairline as well as the parting just to flatten out, smooth it out, get rid of frizz, lumps, bumps, and just make it give a very professional and salon stylist, celebrity stylist look. Now let's go ahead and bond the wig down. I'm going for the Even Active. This one is a lot stronger than the yellow. Just in the sense of like I feel like the texture of it, how it bonds the wig down is like identical to the yellow. But this one is a lot more strong of a hold. This one definitely will last with little to no maintenance. Now I'm doing a different install process. Typically I cut up all the lace. I add in the adhesive in the center, bond it down, and then I do each side. Here I kind of went ahead and did a different way. Um, Everyone has a way that they have learned or just what they feel they are best at. I prefer when I cut off all the lace. I find I get a flawless install that way. And there's less cleanup as far as trying to go back in and making sure that the hairline is completely bonded down. This way I feel like I always have to go back in or most of the time it kind of like clean up the edges a little bit if you will and you guys see airpods just make me so happy and put me in the best mood so this one i went ahead and cut tabs for the center pulled it back and just kind of marked where the hairline should start added my adhesive put the wig on top blow dried it till it was completely dried cut off the excess lace and then went back and touched it up again that sounded like a lot of steps but for some people it is easier or that it's better this is what I mean by going back and touching it up. I feel like when I cut off that excess lace after it's bonded down, sometimes I can't get all the way close up. So you have to kind of like bond down that extra piece that kind of lifts. Now that we're completely bonded down, I'm just going to take a foundation powder. This one I believe is from Ruby Kiss. Is it Ruby Kiss? I think it's Ruby Kiss. I have it linked in the description box, but I'm just taking a um, used beauty blender and just buffing it heavily into the hairline. I still have some more work to do, so naturally a lot of that excess powder will disappear. Here I'm just taking spritz on my hand and just making sure that I don't end up with that little shadow or white cast that sometimes is along the hairline and that definitely is a game changer as far as the spritz goes. Now let's just make sure that the parting matches as well. Fenty 420 concealer is my go-to. We're going to also do that dynamic duo one more time. Again we are having the kinky edges and like it does give that natural like 
your natural hair but sweated out vibe like after PE so I really really want to make sure that at the center as well as the hairline it's super melted and this definitely did the trick get a load of how beautiful and natural the hairline looks it looks like it is mine and I love that for me now let's go ahead and wand curl so I'm doing wand curls um, away from the face for that nice sexy fair faucet look here I started to go forward and I messed up so I had to re reverse it and start over again <laughs> still tripping I guess I'm just in my own little world but this is what it looks like on one side after curling the entire thing now let's do the same exact steps on the opposite side and see if we can get twins as far as each side goes opposed to sisters now let's go ahead and pull the curls apart I like to just take a shower comb aka a wide tooth comb and kind of just pull the hair in the direction that I want it to go and kind of like train it to do exactly what I want it to do I feel like when you have good curls you can comb them out so that they kind of like connect and are not just so separate but then like if you kind of fluff it all all that curl and definition will come right back love 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 the kinky edges with the curls okay so this is the look and I am feeling it I went in and did a no baby hair install as we know this one came from I like hair and they sent me this beautiful kinky straight wig it has these beautiful edges and hairline I wanted to keep it super natural and true to its natural state and style so I did go ahead and again like do no baby hair but I kept it very like more on the natural um hairline texture so for this one we did also opt for a center part buzz down center part with curls that you guys already know that had for me it's always a wand curler I feel like a wand curler is always 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 going to get the job done and make sure that my curls are going exactly how I like them so I did go ahead and curl each side away from my face and then I let it set for about 15 minutes before I went ahead and like um, used the shower comb to go ahead and separate the curls and I love 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 the way this one curls I think I have like a ton of videos on my channel uh, featuring like kinky straight hair but this is one of the few I'm actually curling the kinky straight hair and I am in love it gives like a natural hair vibe if you have long thick full coarse hair this is what your hair would look like absolutely beautiful but let me show you what it looks like from the back Forgive me, I know my curls are not perfect in the back, but I just really wanted to give you the final result. Again, I did not straighten the hair. I just went ahead and added the curls. So I was kind of going for, like, you know when, a, when we brown skin girls, we get our blow out um, and then a press and then we sweat it out. I wanted to give that with this one where you do have the curls, but you still, you still kept the natural texture. It didn't try to, like, silk it out. And I think it is chef's kiss 10 out of 10 we are in love as far as the packaging go this is the dust bag that we came in you guys know i love their hermes orange super duper cute and then here we have a little goodie bag in it we do have our pack of wig caps we have our rat tail comb we have our bra strap style elastic band and then you have this here goodie bag and it is a reusable pouch and they do have their logo on the front Inside you do have a black, uh -oh. inside you do have a black edge brush, two black hair clips. And then you do also have a hair pin and it does say I like hair on it. And you can just insert it into your hair super cute like this. And it's a nice little pop or a staple no matter what hairstyle you're rocking. So we are done with this look. Be sure to check out I Like Hair. Direct link and all the details are in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches! Okay, girls. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. And today we went kinky straight, but we also did some beautiful curls. So it's very rare that I curl my kinky straight hair, but I'm loving the look and the results. And of course I did the beginner friendly install. Now this one is a kinky straight lace wig and I did include the beautiful natural edges. 
super duper in love so of course we're doing no baby hair we're going to accentuate the natural style along the hairline as well as do our curls at the end i'll talk about the stuff that i use to make the hairline look flawless as well as the parting you'll see all that coming up so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look keep on watching so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look keep on watching so if you're interested in seeing how we got this look, keep on watching.